I was born in this city. It's a very small city, it's the capital of the state of Tamaulipas. There's really nothing special about it, however. No, there is something special about it. You said it was like the top 10 most dangerous cities in the Yeah, so the if, you, world. if you Google top 10 most dangerous cities in Mexico, it's gonna, it's gonna show you Ciudad Victoria. So I believe like seventh or something, I don't know. I already said it in the last video, but. Well, in case you haven't seen it. We're gonna go to the, um, I think the bodega. This is, this is literally the center of the city. Like this right here, it's the kiosk, I think it's called. You have the kiosk, you have the uh, where they do shows and whatnot, the main um, church, and like it's just downtown. Okay, well, anyway, just come along with us and enjoy the day. So, right now we're trying to find somewhere that sells shoes. Oh, shoes. <laughs> Literally. We have a wedding tomorrow, but I didn't bring any shoes for Victoria. So, I think we're gonna get her these ones. They're 99 pesos. That's a steal. How much is that in dollars? It's like five bucks, I think. You like it? Yeah, okay. It's a little bit big. It's a little big. But oh, that's fine. I think it's good. No, that's fine. ¿Te gusta? ¿Está bonito? Okay, the shoes have been secured, so now we're gonna go to the mercado, and that's where they sell like fruits and vegetables. You know. I used, I used to get this really cool uh, milkshake. Well, not milkshakes, like just shakes, liquados, smoothies actually. A banana smoothies with cinnamon and all that good stuff. My dad would always take me when I was a kid. I barely came to this place actually, but I guess the best thing is that I get to come now as a dad instead of as a son and show my kids the way. Look at all of this. Whoa. Baila Victoria. literally everything you need they have food fruits vegetables sodas I guess herbs and whatnot probably I wouldn't be surprised if they do all this candy peanuts what are you gonna get Kearney what do you come for I, I've been wanting my fruit since I got here like the, let's get some fruits the then fruit with oh, have you ever been like, here yeah when I was little I they yeah. bring me here all the time wow look at this an endless supply of pinatas for every single Marvel or Disney princess you can ever. No, they don't think. have mini house. It's actually bigger. I think there's some like on the other side. I'm kind of concerned at the same time. It's hard to be funny when you know, like, literally the imminent possibility of getting kidnapped or getting something. Shanked. Shank or kidnapped or anything. <laughs> Okay, so quickly we had to leave the Mercado because there was these three guys that started walking behind us and they looked super sketchy. One of them was like on the phone just like looking at us. I mean, obviously it could have been that just Victoria, I mean, Karen is beautiful. But obviously my my uh, dad mode gets all... Yeah, we were going to record like a bunch of B-roll of the fruit market and everything, but it's just not worth it. Yeah, it is known to be like a risky area and especially because we're not, we're not dressed as the, as the regulars. As and the, like we said, top 10 most dangerous cities, so... We probably yeah. don't want to there, push our there, there is a lot of really sketchy people, so what yeah. we decided to do is just kind of okay, kind of. We should have been under the radar, but having whatever clothes, not like 
So I was like, well, oh, I want to look so cute. Well, and no, because I'm not used to the heat. So if I wear jeans and stuff, I'm just, I can't function normal. Okay, so now we are at a restaurant. We decided to hide out. Just Because people were following us. Bad people were following well, us, we trying to kidnap us. Yes. Yeah. Maybe not. But either way, we were hungry. Victoria was asking for food. Karini was getting hungry. And also that's what a day in the life is. You know, you, you have to eat. And we haven't ate all day. What do you so order? I ordered some chilaquiles al chipotle, which I've never had before. So we're just like a little local uh, restaurant. And you know the crazy thing is my family has a restaurant just a block, like, this. like a, a block down from here. But as you know, my family kind of doesn't like me right now. They so don't like me. They don't like Enrique. Like they kind of like you now, but they don't like yeah, me. So because they, some people are not ready to listen, uh, to hear the truth. And I was like, hey, so you know, I think you guys should do this. And then bam, that was it. Yes. No more family. Yeah, family. so we cannot go to my family's restaurant, unfortunately. You can, just not with me. Yeah. And almost at all like restaurants that you go to here in Mexico, they always give you your chips and salsa, but it's not like the ones in the United States where you have like the canned salsa with chunks of crap in it. This is like actual salsa and actual chips that they actually made. They're actual. And the best part is you get the exact same salsa bowl that somebody else made earlier. So if they double dip, it's just that you're getting their flavor as well. You can have salsa. Can we see salsa? Pica. So if you want salsa, let me see how spicy it is. Because Victoria can't tolerate spicy. Uh -huh. Pica. Such a little Mexican. I know. <coughs> Picoso? Te gusta? Okay. <laughs> so this is the caldo clapeño, which is just avocado, cheese, chicken, chipotle, and then they give you a side of rice. This is Victoria's meal. And Enrique got, uh, what is this? This is just a caldo de res. Yeah, beef yeah. caldo. With this rice on the side as well. Ah, gracias. And these are my chilaquiles al chipotle, side of beans. And I'm going to eat my chilaquiles with a tortilla. I will. I wait. Fun. for the day back at our car oh no where's our car oh all right it's way too hard to do anything with kids so we are just on our way back home well to Enrique's mom's house yeah. Enrique is feeling kind of sick I've been feeling sick all morning yeah not like COVID sick just ate too much that pussy oh shit. ate too much of what ate too much type of sick oh well, we're just gonna chill at home but it's gonna be Mexican style chilling at home. Look at this beautiful view of the tall mountains. We're literally by the mountains. Yeah, and this is the plaza. We're gonna have to show you guys later that plaza because that's where Enrique and I met for the first time. Olivia 
Olivia just woke up from her nap. And did I nap? No, I did not nap, of course. Victoria is currently napping. And so is Enrique. So, uh, since Olivia was sleeping the whole time, gosh, she napped a lot now that I think about it, but she was sleeping for most of the time that we were at the restaurant, so she didn't eat. Uh, so since she woke up from her nap, I'm gonna make her some ham and eggs. Very simple, but she really loves her ham and eggs. We got ham and we got an egg. for her so she okay. I'm seeing if it's hot. It's not hot. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I think she likes it. <laughs> Just something about cooking in Mexico. It's very different than the United States. I don't know if it's like the ingredients, like the eggs, the ham. Just tastes very different. And I want to say very different in a good way. It tastes a lot better. This ham and eggs, like I literally didn't even put any salt and it's so good. It's so plain, but it's so good. Mm. <laughs> For those of you who have ever been in Mexico, you may be familiar with this name, Soriana. It is possibly the Walmart of Mexico. Yep. They even have their own brand, just like the uh, Great Valley or whatever the brand hyper is. hyper in here. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna get some, um, I need some eyeliner and Enrique's mom wants some wine. And so other things, stuff for your sick in your stomach. What oh, else? no, yeah, Enrique has uh, bubble guts, so we gotta get something you for keep his bubble I guts. hate when you call you whatever. Do. That's why I keep saying it. Disgusting. It looks so sad in here. You think so? I kind of like the vibe. You do? Yeah. Oh, wow. Maybe it's the yellow light. Or maybe it's just because I got a lot of good memories. Well, that's probably the memories. You and I had a lot of memories here, so. Do we? Yeah, we used to shop here a few times. Look at the wonderful produce. They do a good job. The yes. eggs aren't refrigerated. Tostadas. <laughs> Whatever that is, some bread. And um, fake orange juice, that's my favorite. Okay, so one thing that I love about Mexico is the ketchup, but the ketchup here is called cat soup. Like a cat soup. What do you say? Ketchup. Ketchup. And it just, it tastes sweeter than like regular ketchup. I think it's more watered down and probably more sugary. Oh yeah, it's probably horrible for you, but I'm taking one because they never sell it in any of the Mexican stores that I go to. I've been to so many and they always tell me no. So I'm gonna take one. Take a couple then. You think? Sure. Okay. Nice. Thanks, Daddy. So this is called natural water. This is called purified water. This is called water for human consumption. What the fuck? What's going on? It's in oferta. I wanna see if she knows how to walk in it. Hey? 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 Her little feet are just vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she kinda gets it. Why you want to trying to get some different kind of alcohol. You know, we were gonna get Enrique's mom's choice. She wanted Lambrusco, but we decided we're probably gonna get something fancier. Yeah. <gasps> That's a no-no. Look, 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 look. <laughs> <laughs> 
this kiosk is called Kiosco, but I don't know what it is. I would always get ice creams here when I lived here in, in Victoria, and so did in Ice cream, snow cone, sometimes it's like... It's like, I don't know, the, ice, the plain vanilla ice cream cone just hit. It just hits the different, best. yeah. And it goes way back, like, it goes way back to when I was like, I think five or something. Yeah. Hello, Good? What I remember. I don't know what it is, you guys. Like I said, it was incredible. So good. Mmm. So good. I took care of it on the bottom and then... A little good. Whoa. This is a very bumpy road. And we just, and I think we just passed it worst. Oh. We're on a mission to get a shrimp cocktail because per Enrique's mom's request as well. Your request, homie. You were the one who said it and she was like, oh yeah, that sounds good. Well, yes, but then she said Look at that street. Look at those craters. Whoa! Whoa! Are you okay? I will survive. We saw a shrimp cocktail place around here, around the corner. Shrimp Okay, so we found it. It's El Tiburón Mariscos. The shark. So we are gonna get shrimp Who's cocktails. It? Cocktail 49 pesos. Yeah. That's the so small one. Well, still. What's 49 pesos, Enrique? 250. Holy About crap. 250. That's I think we should just move to Mexico. Okay, go get me my shrimp cocktail. Yes, ma'am. Actually I wanna go with you. Okay. We got our dinner ready. Ooh. And we get got the fillet. Yeah. Filet mignon. Pescado fillet. Uh, wow, bocadote. Mm. 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 Delicious. Eating. Mm. Delicious. The eating. cat soup made it ten times better. And you, Victoria? Eating you. Mm. <laughs> okay. Hey, don't be why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> so Enrique's mom is making these for Enrique's cousins. Yeah, they're party favors. And the party. Oh, they're gonna be little candy box. Oh no, circles. And a guitar. And they're gonna have like a little tag on the top that says. And they're Mexican candies. And we put drinking a Coca Cola, Mexican Coca Cola. Mexican Coca Cola. Mexican Coca Cola. Mexican Coca Yummy in my tummy. Yummy in my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> and Enrique is serving us the wine we got at Soriana. It's actually Jamaica. Oh. Here you go. Oh, Lovers. no. Cheers, mama. Cheers, mama. Cheers. Cheers. Mama. Cheers. 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 Okay. Ah. <laughs> mm, tastes like tacos. Can you scoop it? That's wine te test testing. Tasting. You don't drink it because you get drunk. You just go like. Oh, I've seen, I've seen it in the movies, okay? So I know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, yeah, you So we just worked on, um, I don't know if you guys remember, we were talking about how we were doing these like little, little knickknacks for the wedding tomorrow and we took like two hours doing them and then guess what happened? <laughs> I, Enrique yeah. and I made the logos. I helped Enrique and we, you know, they look good, right? It says 
thank you for accompanying us to, well, yeah, accompanying us, Goddess and David. And his name. His name is Diego. God damn. <laughs> My mom had to cut this by hand, like purple yeah, circles from a shit, from, from a sheet. This was what, like we two hours? We cut these and then we glued them to each one. It's like 120. Two hours and cutting, a couple hours and uh, gluing. So and now we have to stick them and do the logo again and then print them tomorrow, like super quick uh, before the wedding. We just met the guy, like I didn't know his name. And I even told my mom, is it uh, David? Which is Karis' is dad as well. And I was like, oh, that's funny. And uh, turns out it's Diego. <laughs> Sorry, Diego, if you watch this. <laughs> <laughs>